So, sigurado, meron tayong pasayaw. Meron tayong ano, waka-waka dyan. Di ba? Tama ba? Di ba? Tama ba? Sa, di ba? Oo. nag flex ba kayo? Baka meron kayong gout ngayon. Hindi kayong makakasayaw. Tama ba? Di ba? So, kailangan sasabayan nyo to. Di ba? Kasi, they said that the Philippines is one of the most hospitable countries in the world. Di ba? Tama ba? We love dancing and singing. Tama ba? And also, the Africans, they love dancing and singing. So, in Tagalog, we have to sabay with them. Tama ba? We have to make sabay-sabay. O, oh, kailangan makasabay ka. Tama ba? <laughs> we get to sabay-sabay. Okay. So, mga kaibigan, uh, I'm, I'm gonna call... <laughs> I'm gonna call in. Okay, but, uh, wait, there's more, ah. Uh, lahat, all of the people, <laughs> all of the people who buy the package, you get a raffle. Okay? Your name will gonna draw here. Okay? You, yes. You give it to Upline Sonia, the, the beautiful lady at the back. Okay. So, ipaparapol natin yung, ano, yung, ah, mga product po, ah, mga products. Okay po. So, Mga kaibigan, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, ang tatawagin po natin is one of uh, one of the IT specialists in the beautiful land of Kenya. The beautiful land where you can see the safari when you go to this beautiful nation. Di ba? Uh, grabe to. Di ba mayroong isang movie na talagang ay even sa, sa CNN napapanood to na napa, marami mga hayop na nandoon kasi sa safari nila no sa Pilipinas meron din tayo safari sa Subic safari <laughs> grabe <laughs> malakbangan niyo naman pamenta kahit konti di ba so she's an IT specialist a business woman grabe the wife of the handsome man from Kenya what what <laughs> okay so uh, she's She's from Kenya and also from Uganda. Mga kaibigan, magsitayo po tayo lahat. At kapag tinawag ko siya, kailangan pumapalak pa kayo. Sumisi pa kayo sa, 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 sa floor. Huwag nyo lang sisipain yung mga katabi nyo. Huwag nyo sasapakin, mga kaibigan. Okay? Magpakabaliw kayo kasi sasayaw tayo ng, ano, ng waka-waka. Ha? Ito yung pinasikat ni Shakira eh. Pwede rin kung gusto nyo, be, yung ano, balakang, ha? Pwede. Okay, let's all welcome iPhone Uganda and iPhone Kenya. Ma'am, upline! Viola Muzinguzi!
now. I'm even sweating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my name's uh, Viola Msingzi from Uganda. I'm really happy to be with you today. Benz Club. Mercedes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm really very happy. Uh, I want to thank Sato Mantan for giving us this opportunity to bring IFAN Africa to our place. And we really assure you we are going to make it. This is our last day here. Yes, we are going back tomorrow. And I want to thank you people very, very, you have been so good to us. I don't know what I can do. <laughs> Yes. Uh, how many people are willing to come to Uganda? Come to come to Africa? Who are coming? Yes. Wow, wow, wow. I assure you we are going to revenge. <laughs> we are going to revenge. Yes. I, I want to thank uh, Zach Lopez. I want to thank uh, Madame Cantala and uh, Mr. Marvin and the Madame. They have given us a lot of gifts. We have been receiving gifts ever since we came. We are, <laughs> I don't know even what to say. We have been receiving gifts, surprises. Mr. Toman, the other day you saw, he gave us the, so, the, the Samsung with the speakers. But uh, the speakers, they are tools. We are going to use them. The videos we have been taking, the photos, we are going to show our people back in Africa what we saw here. We are going to show them that iFan is a real company and we are going to make it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So the, the speakers that he gave us, we are going to use them as a tool. As we present, we are going to play for them. And uh, they are going to get the information that we got from here. Because our heads are really full now. We really have that energy. We are going to make it. Yes. Uh, with few words... Uh, I want to call uh, Mr. Patrick, our CEO, and my husband. Yes. Please come. Yeah, I want to thank you, my husband, <laughs> for bringing me to Asia, for bringing me to Philippines. <laughs> and thank you for bringing Ifan. The reason why I called him here, I want ladies, we really need to appreciate our husbands. Always appreciate their efforts. They, need, they really wish us the best. The moment he brought Ifan, I was working and I resigned my job immediately. I didn't, I didn't ask anyone. I never asked my sisters or anyone. I resigned immediately and I joined him to support him. So ladies, if you know you're still working somewhere, please just resign and join your husband and you work. Yes, with those few words, please. Um, and I want to give you a verse. Ladies, please. Psalms 31. Psalms 31. The whole of it, no chapter. <laughs> Psalms 31. Please read that every morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, let's give her more rounds of applause. A fantastic morning. How are you? Okay. Uh, before I start, I want to know, because you have known my name is Musingu Patrick, I also want to know the people I'm going to be speaking to. Can I know by show of hand those that are members already in this room? Members, please, by show of hand. Okay, thank you very much for coming. And those that are not yet members, please, by show of hand, please, please, please. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Okay, thank you very much. Today, I believe it's a day 
of saying thank you, thank you, thank you, because we've been here for nine days. Tomorrow is our last day in the Philippines. We'll be going back home. Okay? We want to thank you because the kind of love you've shown to us was never expected. And the reason it was never expected, because we have not done anything good for IFA Nation. Okay? But like uh, Vera just said here, we are going to pay in the same currency. Okay? We will make sure we succeed in Africa. Uh, of course, I cannot start my conversation with you without thanking uh, our president and CEO, Sato Mantan, and uh, Madam Kim for this opportunity. And I uh, also want to thank him for the opportunity he has given to us for the days we have been here. Today, I was able to come from Batangas at uh, Mr. Marvin's and uh, Keith, forget my pronunciation, if it's not right, uh, home. And I tell you, we have really enjoyed everything that was there. The other day, we were at uh, Mr. Alex and uh, Melanie's house. I tell you, what we found there was <laughs> very superb. The other day, we were at Upline Zach's place. Of course, you know, when I, we talk about Zach here in IFA Nation, we know what it means, isn't it? And then, we were at Des Cantara's home together with uh, Alvin. I will tell you what I have learned and what I think we are going to use when we go back to Africa. And I cannot cheat you. I want to share with you exactly what I have learned from the tours that we have made. Would you want to know what I have learned? Yeah. Together with my team. That's why I'm talking with this kind of energy. Because we are fired up. Fired up alone does not give results. Okay? I want to tell you what I have learned. Because they gave us their time. We talked one-on-one. -on -one. You know, they shared their stories. When I was at uh, uh, Mr. Alexis' house, whatever he shared, I found the same at Zach Lopez's house, our upline also. I phoned at Upland's Des, uh, Des Cantara's house together also. Today, I have found the same thing at Marvin's house. Do you want to know what I found? Before I tell you what I found, I want to ask you what you know. Or if someone asks you what is success, what would be your definition of success? And I'll just pick anybody at random to tell us, isn't it? Is that okay with, with, with us? Can I ask someone to tell us what success is all about? Sir, what is success? Success means uh, having a, a, a fulfillment in your life. Very good. And then, uh, uh, no, 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 no. What is success, ma'am? It's a... Uh, Okay, success. Oh, you want to say something, mom? Yeah. Tell us, tell us. Success for me is perseverance plus focus plus hard work plus, of course, yung, what do you call that? Uh, mindset. Com uh, yes, com complete positive mindset will become a success in Ifern. Thank you very much. Now, I did this intentionally because I wanted to see. I actually wanted to talk about what mom has just talked about. There are two, okay, basic, uh, you know, types of mindset. To me, one is fixed mindset. Two is growth mindset. Okay? And I will tell you, the reason I asked why who in this room are members and those that are not members. 
We all know there is a lot of money in iPhone. We all know that there are people who have made lots and lots of money in iPhone. But I will ask you, how come when Sato Man is announcing the people, he does not announce everybody as a top earner? Ask yourself that question. Do you understand what I'm saying? And yet we are doing the same business. The majority of the people have a fixed mindset. That's the problem. And that's why people are not you know, making it in life. Not even in Ifa Nation. Because the moment you have a fixed mindset, you think of yourself as, you know, that is not for me. Okay? You know, you, you, people, actually, you think negative about yourself. You think someone who has succeeded maybe has a talent. Okay? You think you are not, you ca you are not able to do marketing because that's not your thing. It's never been a thing for uh, Apple and Zach Ropez, I believe. He wasn't born a marketeer. He wasn't born a networker. But the moment you put yourself into that situation where you have a, a fixed mindset, trust me, you'll never grow. That's the truth. Why would you think for someone to make money was born to make money? Who was born to make money? I believe you are born the same. Isn't it? But you see, we think for us, you know, our minds fail us. And even no one was born to have a fixed mindset. No one. But you see, you put yourself in that situation. Do you understand what I'm saying? The moment you put yourself in that situation, trust me, you cannot fly 16 hours from Africa to come and witness a kickoff event of your business. You can't. Because you think, after all, why am I going to spend money? Why am I going to do this? My time? My this? My that? Do you understand what I'm saying? Because I've put it very clearly, he has said, look, for us in Africa, we haven't made money like some of you are making. But then why would we say, we will forego the 10 days, come witness how the company is progressing and how our uplines are doing. Now, if you have the second basic, if you have a growth, you know, mindset, then you think of yourself and say, look, I may be not doing well. I may, you know, maybe have failed here. You don't take it as a failure. You take it as a lesson. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because everything starts from your mind. Everything starts from my mind. Everything starts from your mind. So it's up to you to, to know which mind you want. Do you want a fixed mindset? Do you want a growth mindset? I don't know. Sir, are you getting what I'm saying, sir? It's you. The mind that Satoman has, the brain that Satoman has, same brain like mine, a black guy, same brain like you have. But you see, when I was seated there, there's a young boy. He told me, he came and you know, said, where do you come from? I told him. He told me, I want to buy this building when I grow up. That's, that's the mindset, I will tell you. He said, I want to be a rich man. I want to be like Satoman. Now, do you want to tell me that young boy would ever be poor? The question. The, that kind of boy will never be poor. That I can guarantee. But you see, the moment you see someone making money, you say, Ay, how does this guy make the money? Because you see, I shared with Sir Alex. I shared with Sir Marvin. You know, they are all talking about the same thing. Success is not a talent. Success is hard work. Success is consistency. Success, success is when you have a goal. Like I'm, I'm very motivated. I have not made money from iPhone. I have actually inv invested a lot of money in iPhone. But you see, I am positive. Very, very positive. I'll tell you the truth. Why? Because the system is there. Do you understand? Yes. Why are other people making the money in iPhone and they think me I'll fail? That's impossible. 
it's just a matter of time. Today, Sir Marvin shared us and said, look, I've been in this company close to about seven years. The three years, I was, you know, not successful at all. I didn't have a house. I didn't have a car. Same thing with us in Africa. We have had iPhone for three years. You know, when he said that, I was like, wow. That means in the next three years, we are going to be doing very well. If, if I put myself in the other guy's shoes who has a fixed mind, I would be saying, wow, three years I've been working, no success. Do you understand? But I say, no, it's growth. I know it's hard work. I know it's not a talent that I would claim, oh my God, I'm, I, don't, I don't have a talent. This is not singing. This is not art. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm telling you? This is hard work. I cannot claim to be a musician. Maybe I don't have the voice. Okay? Yes, you cannot claim that you are going to be an actor. But you can say, I'll be a successful person. Therefore, we all can become successful people. Okay? I will tell you also that we would have failed to be successful if we would not have the means to take us there. Okay? We should look at success, okay? Not as something to, to go and... Look, it, look at it as a journey. Look at success as a journey. You know? Look at it. You move from point A to point B. Okay? Yes, you do not... Some people may not know how to talk. But you see, practice makes perfect. Isn't it? Some people may be shy today to approach someone. But how are you going to get away that shyness from you if you are not giving it a try? Do you understand? You must give it time. You must practice. And you must actually even talk to people and they say no. Because the approach is wrong. And then the next day, you ask yourself, how come I spoke to so and so, I, did not, I was not able to convince this person into the business, but someone else talked to the same person and brought that person into the business. Do you want to call that talent? <coughs> no, it's not talent, brother. It's not talent. We must get skills if we want to succeed. We must get skills. And the only way to get skills is to keep on practicing, practicing, practicing. You get what I'm telling you? So to me, I can tell you I'm already uh, in MDC, Million Dollar Club. I'm already there. I'm there in my mind. Do you understand what I'm saying? You should be there in your mind. Because the success we are seeing today in IFAN has not been overnight. Six years down the road might look as a long time, but it's the shortest time for one to succeed. Isn't it? In my country, for one to study from primary school up to the college or university will take about 18 years. Okay? Now, in the process that you are studying, you are not making any single money. Nothing you are making, you are just you know, trying to acquire knowledge that will help you to make the money. Isn't it? Now, you can sacrifice 18 years, okay, to acquire knowledge to make the money, but you cannot sacrifice six years, okay, to do business and you become successful. Ask yourself that question, for sure. Why? Why? You know, we want to live in the future when we have not reached there. You know, we look at success when we have not worked for it. Do you understand what I'm saying here? And many times we make mistakes. 
I traveled with a team of six, I mean, five people, including myself, we are six people. We have our 001 in Kenya. He has been doing this business for three years. You know, she is employed by the immigration of the government of Kenya. Many times she has been telling me, you know, Patrick, I will resign. Patrick, I will resign because I want to do my business. Every time I ask her, oh, so when are you going to resign, ma'am? Today, my people from Uganda, my Africa, please come and join me here. I want to say this when all the people are here. As they come, I want to thank Marvin, the Giras team, and of course, Mama Keith Maria, for what they have helped us today. Keith shared her story, how she was working with the Senate. How she left an income of a six figure. And she decided to do her business. I decided I would say this in the Philippines because I want to tell you how determined the Africans are to do this business. For three years, she has always wanted to do her own business. She's here. She's a 001 in Kenya. But trust me, she has been doing her job, her employment, and also IFAN. So I've been asking her, I say, look here. You say your downlines are not working. I ask her, so why would you want your downlines not, not, why would you want them to work if yourself, you are giving your business less hours, less time? You going to meet them, you tell them, no, look here, I'm going to work. I will see you when I come back from my work. Isn't it? So they see this business as second class, not the first priority. So many times we actually, as leaders here, we disappoint our downlines. We kill our own businesses. Today, the good news is that after, after our talk at uh, uh, Marvin and Kate's home, you know, at, uh, from... Uh, Batangas, she has made a declaration. She has resigned her job in the immigration of the government of Kenya. She has done, and I'm saying this because I know we are running live. I know people at home are watching. And I know her downlines are watching. We are coming back to Africa with a princess not working anywhere, but working with iPhone. Thank you. Thank you very much. The decision she has made today will not only change her life, but it's going to change many people's lives. And that's the reason I said I should share this here in the Philippines. If there's anybody of you who is still stuck somewhere, who is scared of not losing this small income? Who is still thinking, oh, I am employed, I am a manager? Because I hear most people in the world like titles. I don't know if it happens here. You know, oh, I'm a manager. Oh, I'm this, I'm this. A title without money means zero. <laughs> because I can tell you, she is a senior immigration officer. That's not a small title. But as she, is she making the money like Sarah Pez is making? Oh, even uh, 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 Marvin is making? So, let's face reality. Let's know what we are looking for. Are we looking for success? Thank you very much. You can have a seat. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> what exactly are we looking for? Why would you invest your money in a business you are not willing to give time? Why? Ask yourself that question. Why? Ask yourself that question and then answer yourself also. <laughs> Why? I say this to you because I don't want our company brand, our company name to be abused. Because when you invest your money in iPhone, and you don't work, you start telling people out there how iPhone is a scam. Do you understand? 
I invested my money, I did not make money. How did you want your investment to work without your involvement? Imagine opening a shop, a grocery shop, and every morning, you, instead of going to open it, you buy a padlock from another shop, you come and add it there. I'm keeping my things safe. <laughs> At the end of the day, your grocery shop keeps closed throughout. Isn't it? And then you start saying, do you know what? The street where I opened my grocery shop is stupid. You cannot, no sales there. I don't make sales there. Really? Is it the street? Is it the shop, the building? It's you, the owner of the business. Same thing, my brothers and sisters. You cannot expect to invest in iPhone like such a man was saying the other day. There are events you don't want to attend. Isn't it? And then, for us, we pay lots of money to come and keep, you know, and be here. You are lucky. Me, I'm excited because I met the top leaders together with my team. We have seen reality. We cannot see them every single day. You guys can see them every day. You guys can get mentorship from them every day. So what is it that you complain about? The days we have been here, almost every three days, someone is getting a car. True or not true? Again, I want to look in the camera and I say this very clearly to you. As I invite you to come and do business in Africa also, I want to tell the Africans, yesterday we had a very candid you know, discussion with Sato Man. He has instructed me to go and find uh, uh, car dealers in Africa, in Kenya and Uganda, which we can pattern with because we want to make sure that this year people in Africa also can get the success of iPhone by getting their own cars. So people in Africa, be ready, we are coming. And we are coming with the good news, I'll tell you. So for you, who are lucky, who are living with the king and the queen here, it's up to you. Okay? And this message is for you. It's up to you. You want to change your life? You can change it in words. You can change it in your mind. If no action, trust me, you'll never get successful. But for us, who have agreed to, up, to yes upline, to yes to man turn, we are going to put that in action and we'll make sure that we succeed because the money is not anywhere else but in iPhone. Yeah. I've said I thought when I tell you that I'm inviting you to do business in Africa, you'd be excited. I was actually embarrassed on myself because I thought we are giving you more market. Because we thought maybe some of you are not making here a lot of money because the market is small. It's not small, right? The market is big, isn't it? Yeah, so let's compete now. Let's compete with Africa. Because we are going to make sure that we get a share of our cake from iPhone. And I want to make this very, very clear also to you and our leaders here. Uh, IFAN is legally and officially operating in Africa, in the two countries, in Uganda and in Kenya. I am actually, me, I am actually a pattern of IFAN as a company. I am a pattern of Sato Man as a CEO. Because in some in my appointment to run iPhone in Africa is to duplicate exactly what is happening here into Africa. The reason I have said 
I've decided to tell you this is because I've gotten many questions from the leaders telling me, so where do you get your products? Do you get your products from your uplines? So how do you get the products? You know, you know, how, do, how do you get the codes? I want to tell you that in Africa, we also do RBA like you do them here. In Africa, we also have a hall like this where we train people every day because this is IFAN Philippines. We have IFAN Uganda and we have IFAN Kenya. The only difference is that for us, we don't see our president every day the way you people see him every day. So you stand a better chance. Because the days I've been here, I see Sato Man every time coming to close the meeting. True or not true? For me in Africa, I have talked to him and I say, oh, today, do you have any message for our people? Then he will record the message and we play it. For you, he doesn't play a message here. He comes here and talks to you direct. So, why, do I, why did I say that? Why did I talk about my partnership and my appointment in Africa? It's because I don't want you to have any excuse of not doing business in Africa. Thinking you are going to be doing business for Patrick. No, you are still doing IFAN. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm sure, of course, Sato Man will also be able to share this with you if you need to understand it, most especially the leaders, because we want IFAN to grow as a brand. If you check the vision of our company, it is sharing prosperity through where? Globally. Isn't it? Globally is not Philippines. Globally is the world. Africa is part of the world. Isn't it? As I end, I want to say this to you. Three things that we must follow those of you who are you know, motivated, those of you who are very serious looking for success. Three things I would, I'm going to leave with you. Have a vision, have a goal. Okay? Make sure you have a mentor. You people are lucky, you have a mentor in Sato Man and all the leaders here. Right? Last, but not least, Love your business. In loving your business, you will give your business more time. You give your business more time, I guarantee you will get successful. We shall be going back tomorrow to Africa. But we appreciate the love, you know, the, the mentoring that we have gotten from here. And I can tell you for sure that now Africa has started. You have just seen a lady who has decided to resign. Okay? Wow. Now, if someone far away from the Philippines can resign to do IFAN, I don't know what I should tell the people that actually live in the Philippines. And also, I want to tell you this. There is no magic in making money. There is no magic in becoming successful. All you need to do is work, work, and work. I thank you. And I wish all of you the best. See you soon. Thank you.